Hey guys, it is me, Jason. We are doing another review with my dad of his pap therapy using Oscar. Um, you didn't import data, dad. If any of you want to have this service done, it is on my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Look at me, I'm sleeping so peacefully. If you want to have this service done, I have several things. You can have a home sleep test. You can do what I call a talk to a tech or speak to a technologist. Ask me really any question you want for about a half hour. Just grill me. Then we have the pap therapy data analysis. Now this is what I'm doing with my father. So with our pap therapy data analysis you need to have oscar or sleepyhead installed have your most recent data set uploaded and then i go through about two weeks of data though I'll, i've been known to go back a couple years as i see fit look this service is actually really really helpful with this service we have been able to help a ton of people many people come into it kind of skeptical just wanting to help me out i think just trying to throw lefty a little bone and then they come out on the other side really really glad they did it and wishing they had done it much, much sooner. Now listen to some of these awesome reviews that I received. I had an Oscar review session with Jason a few months ago. It was awesome. And just to get to ask Jason questions directly was priceless. Highly recommend. I scheduled with Jason a few weeks ago. So glad I did. Now I understand more what I'm looking at. He takes time with you while analyzing your data. Even while I'm asking so many questions and rattling off at the mouth, he made recommendations and I've slept better than I have in years. Spent an hour with Jason and he was spot on. Got more accomplished with him than I have my doctors. Jason went over my data thoroughly. I was very encouraged afterwards. This service is a tremendous value. I used Jason's service today and was impressed. And then we have one person that did not leave a review, but instead they wrote me a song. I am a sleep technician. More on that later. Now, before we get to the rest of this video, my father is not a typical patient that I have. We usually get it done and resolved in about one appointment. Sometimes we'll do a quick follow-up at no extra charge. Quick follow-up, make sure everything's uh, working smoothly, everything's resolved, and if not, we make a couple more tweaks. Now, my father is a little more difficult in many ways, but this is my third time. <laughs> this is my third time reviewing the data with him. I think we are dialing in on it, and here is the rest of that video. If you're interested in the service, please check it out at axgsleepdiagnostics.com. You have to import the data, the most recent stuff. Okay, well, it's there, but I was, yeah, I was, yeah, okay. <laughs> you have your card with you? Yeah, well, I stuck it in the computer, and I was going to import it, and then I got on. Okay. Okay, if you already have it in there. Yeah. That's good. Uh, 88 sessions. There we go. 30 days, so first was 10.03. So we moved you up to fix 16 on 10.03. Let's go to October and we'll go to the first day you started. Look at those. Leak looks decent that night. You have a billion of those tagged snores. Is mom still around? Mom. Hello, Jason has a question for you, I think. Mom, do you hear dad snoring a lot or no? No. You never hear snoring? Do you hear flapping or anything or like a, any flapping or vibration from his side? No. Nothing? Okay. There's just a lot. There's a lot of little tags of vibratory snores. It could be anything that vibrates that causes that. I'm just curious about that. You hear nothing anything though? Anything that vibrates? Yeah. Dad, what are you doing in your sleep? Is it sexual? <laughs> um, oh, could be. <clears throat> so so uncomfortable. <laughs> so your leak looks good. Um, My leak looks good. Yeah, your leak looks good. All this leaking. Your leak data is good, nice and low. Mm. saying you're having a lot of rearrows and those are a little so That I feel like you're getting into the realm of needing bi-level. Are you having a hard time with the pressure at all, or does it feel fine to you? Uh, in what way? I mean, I'm going to answer that with a yes, in that it's it feels almost too much, and I have to, depending on the mask I'm using, I have to really cinch it down tight. Mm-hmm. 
So before you're having events that looked pretty clear as far as hypopneas and things, that was at 14. Now you're at 16. Let's see, so 14. Let's see, what's today, the second? Yeah. Um, you just hit something there? Well, I was, I, I was using, uh, I use a nasal mask for two days in a row. And I'm trying to remember which one it was. Okay. I guess, that, I guess it doesn't matter, but it was, uh, I think it was, uh, let's see, not last night, the night before or the night before that. Uh -huh. There were two nights in a row and I was kind of curious how those nights were because I didn't use any kind of mouth guard or anything. Okay. And I was just wondering like, if it's what it showed. Do you remember what the dates were? Um, oh, I'll bet you it's, that's one of them. <laughs> I'll bet you the 30th is one of them. <laughs> Let's see what how those what does that mean right there? These are that's leaks. Not, These are all leaks. Oh, that's all the leaks? Yeah. All oh, those yeah. are leaks. I'll bet that is the night without the full face mask. You said you used it for two consecutive nights? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet you that's 29 and 30th. And then it looks like the 31st. You went back to the full face mask, I'll bet. Yeah. So that's nice and level. That all looks pretty good. My thought is um, you're, you're still having events, but you're on kind of a higher pressure. And I'm wondering if you're getting overwhelmed as far as the pressure is concerned. Like too much? Well, it looks like you need more IPAP pressure, which is a higher pressure if you're on bi-level. You look like you need more pressure, but then you're starting to get these little uh, look about the waveform, like, um, uh, like central apneas are ready to start. You see how these are real like waxing and waning, kind of like, mm, like yo-yoing up? Uh -huh. And it looks the same going going up as it does coming down. Usually, like true events are more like a slower decline, and then it goes when it jerks up real fast. These would have more of an, a central look to them. So that usually means that you're on too high of a pressure uh, if you're doing it all night, like you sure seem to be here. So the thought is well, by level or the pressure before at 14 actually looked pretty decent, but you were still having some events. Um, but it could be like we could do the poor man's by level. Do me a quick favor and check the description box below for ways that you can help out this channel. One thing you can do is head on over to massbrite.com. You can pick up some Massbrite because guess what? You probably got a stinky mask. Clean it up, get the grease oils off. Another thing you can do is check out the discount CPAP mask section. We have a ton of used masks, but we also have a ton of new masks. You can get a brand new F30. You can get an N30i starter pack. You can get a Dream Wisp Fit Pack. You can get a Viterra new. You can get N20s, P30i's. We have Dreamwear gel pillows. We have Bravita. We have P10 Fit Packs. And we have f 20s as well as Dreamwear full face masks. Come check it out. Help us out. Thank you for supporting our channel. Poor man's bio level is turning on your the flex setting on your machine uh, and leaving it at a static pressure. So like it would be decreasing it to back to uh, 14. Hold on a second. I'll look at these because it tagged some. Uh, it's nothing. But you see all these after every like arousal, you have these, they're the exact same going up and going down. Yeah. That's getting into central apnea territory. Let me just spot check a few more. Oh, there's high leaks on that day. It's kind of interesting there on the 20. Oh, it was your birthday, dad. Happy birthday. You had a good night's sleep that night. It looked like. <laughs> Look at that. Well, let me, let me think on the 31st. Right here after you. Oh, it looks like, did you change masks? Do you wake up in your birthday morning and change to a different mask? I did, yeah. Yeah, because look at that leak. It's all high right through here. And then it drops and is like super level right there. That's kind of interesting. 
that's too level. <laughs> yeah. uh, did, did you die that night, Dad? <laughs> do you have someone breathing for you? But see how it still has that like wa like the waxing and waning look, which is not it's it's not like horrible, but it's just it just means the pressure is a little high for you. So um, actually, you could probably leave it at. Oh, let's okay, let's do this. Um, let's drop it. Dr so drop your pressure to fifteen, and then turn on um, uh, your flex to three, and just do C flex. Don't don't do A flex. It'll, it'll ask you C flex or A flex. So turn on C flex. Yeah, turn on C flex to three, and lower your pressure to fit. Uh, hold, hold on a second, I just want to double check. It amazes me you can make anything out of this stuff. What is that? Well, I mean, I'm seeing all this, and I think, yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's not bad though. I mean, it's it, it could definitely be better. It's um, I, I kind of think you'd do better with bi-level in a way. But to get that, I have to go through uh, another sleep study, right? Um, yeah, hold on. Hold the phone. So you definitely need, so these are like, you remember what I said about like the events, how they, they'll, if they're legitimate events, or I'm sorry, non-central-like events, they mm -hmm. decrease slowly, then increase rapidly, decrease mm -hmm. slowly, increase. So that these are like legitimate events. That's at 12. That's why we went to 14. So you definitely need more than 12, which is what we already knew. We went to 14. Didn't we? Let me have to re refresh my memory. Yeah, so we went yeah, to 14 one. on the second. Right. So let's see, daily. So in the second, you went to 14. Okay, and at 14, 14, they look like they're, okay, so 14, you're still having like subtle legitimate events. Okay, so. No, those are still legitimate. Okay, so I think 15, <laughs> we'll try 15. And then with the C flex turned on and uh, hope that that works. Um, make sure your machine is turned, uh, is set to pill or a full face mask also in the mask selection. Say again? Make sure that you're, the mask that you're using is set to uh, full face mask. Cause you are using a full face mask, right? Well, not always. I mean, I kind of, I was really liking the, uh... The nasal one, but your mom didn't like it very much. She complained about it. Because you were leaking your mouth? I wake up pretty easily when they're noisy. Yeah, noisy usually is mouth leak or some leak. Yeah. So, yeah, stick with the full face mask, unfortunately. 15, flex of three, and that should do it. Is there any... Uh, Hopefully, it, that should do it. Yeah, it is, uh, it's pretty easy to change the, the C-flex. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to go into the same clinician's menu. You know how you pop crack into it. Um, it should have the very top level should be CPAP pressure. So you adjust that. And I think as you rotate down, it has comfort settings in there. So that's where you'd enable flex. Then it's going to, I think it asks you if you want A flex or C flex. Select C flex. All right. All righty. Then we'll have to get back and do this a little faster than, than this time. Well, I gave it a good test because I was actually trying a lot of different math. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, though, you didn't look bad at like a lower CPAP pressure. It just wasn't ideal. It, it kind of looked like you're probably moving to your back in certain periods because it would get like noticeably worse. Then you could see like a movement, which I'm guessing you probably moved to your side or something again. Yeah. So, I mean, all in all, it was overall probably fine. We could probably do some like, some measures to keep you off your back. I don't know that you're on your back. It's just, it's, it's weird. It's just, it's unusual to see someone cruising along just fine. And then big movement, it's all real bad in that period, another big movement, then it goes back to normal and not kind of deduce, oh, they're probably on their back or rolled to their back or something. Well, and I think that's probably right because uh, it, it seems like I end up on my back a lot. All right, father. All right. Good if, you have a, if you have a hard time making those changes, let me know. No, you'll be the first to know.
Sounds I'll, good. I'll fumble around with it. My, my technique is I fumble around with it, usually find it someplace. That works for me. Please consider using my Amazon affiliate link down in the description box below. I clicked the link and added some items that my family needs, like a youth baseball bat for my son, but found that it makes my tiny hands seem large, so I use it too. We also got this street ball so my children will know the joys of being dunked on by a pear-shaped man. I also bought an ice cream to protect my YouTube face. Jesus! We also got this ice cream maker. Are you eating ice cream out of the tub again? No. Because as I discovered while batting, I may have very small hands, but I am still a thick boy. Sick it out. Even white boys got the shout. Baby got back. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters and a low level. Thanks buddy to Alan Liu, Stuart Heffington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy.